Mexico City, the most populous metropolis in North America, is sinking fast. New research suggests that it has sunk so low that it might be too late to save it. Mexico City's ground sinks over 20 inches, 50 centimeters, every year, and it won't stop anytime soon. Due to decades of water draining from subsurface aquifers, this city's lake bed has become drier, forcing the clay sheets to compress and fracture irreversibly. In addition to jeopardizing infrastructure, this threatens the security of millions of people's water supplies. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to create more content educating you on Latin America. Historically, we can look at the Aztecs, or Mexica. As it turns out, they established the city in the middle of a lake formed from a volcanic crater. Though it may have been easy to defend, this is an awful foundation for a city. Choosing a strange location for their magnificent capital was only the beginning of the Aztecs' challenges. During the Spanish occupation of 1519, deep wells were drilled to draw water from subsurface aquifers and fill up the lake. Everywhere they extracted groundwater from boreholes, the ground would sink. In the absence of underground water, the sediments on which the city was built would compress more and more. Over the past 60 years, the city has sunk more than 10 meters as 70% of the water it relies on comes from the aquifer underneath it. As a result, the water table is sinking at a rate of 50 centimeters per year. The situation worsens as Mexico City's population grows, water consumption increases, and the city continues to sink. Water will run out from the aquifer if you pump it out faster than it can be replenished by rainfall. The city's population continues to grow, and the city is already pumping out water at a faster rate than it can be refilled. Due to all the pumping, the city is practically sinking. As a result of the metropolis sucking up water from the aquifers, empty spaces remain behind. There is no structural integrity left in the earth as it sags into the abyss. Some areas of Mexico City sink at a rate of 50 centimeters per year. As a comparison, Venice, the famous falling Italian city, sinks at a rate of less than half an inch annually. Due to its soft lake sediment, the city is prone to soil liquefaction during earthquakes. Building sag and pipelines burst as a result of the sinking, resulting in costly repairs and maintenance. It is estimated that the Zocalo, Mexico City's main square, is now lower in elevation than Lake Texcoco as a result of the city's sinking. There are many buildings and churches around the city, mostly in the historic core, that lean like drunkards. Their foundations have been pushed unevenly into the ground beneath them. There is a leaning chapel and bell tower in the city's cathedral, which took more than 200 years to construct. They are held up by stone wedges to prevent the entire structure from collapsing. There are nine shallow steps going up from the street below to reach the Gilded Angel of Independence, a popular tourist destination and national icon. Another 14 immense stairs were built to raise the angel above the fading metropolis, as the surroundings sank. There are slanted buildings that lurk ominously across pavements, their windows and doors no longer aligned with those around them, as though cast out of a macabre theme park. In flat terrain, terrace streets undulate suddenly, with wavy gables pressing against one another in some places and pulling apart in others. Furthermore, urban residents struggle up steep pavements where previously there was a flat route. A massive sinkhole appears out of nowhere, devouring sections of the highway. It is becoming increasingly difficult to walk on the streets, and buildings are collapsing or becoming unsafe to inhabit. A persistent threat exists in Iztapalapa, an impoverished area in the southeast of the city that is home to about 2 million people. Although the situation might seem hopeless, this is not a sign that we need to give up. With over 21 million residents, this city is a cultural icon and one of the most important historical places in the world. Along with several other agencies, the Ecology and Development Center at the Independent National University of Mexico, UNAM, has urged immediate, dramatic action to protect the city's infrastructure and architectural beauty. Efforts are being made to collect rainwater more efficiently in order to lessen stress on subsurface aquifers. There are also initiatives that promote water conservation. 
Mexico City will undoubtedly receive worldwide attention and assistance because part of the city has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Measures are already being taken. The current government cancelled the construction of an airport in Texcoco, a former lake near Mexico City, in order to create an ecological park there instead, and it has also reforested and expanded green areas around Mexico City in order to prevent the city from drying out, stop sinking, and improve its citizens' well-being. Mexico City's future is in our hands, just as the world's future depends on us. To learn more about Mexico what makes Mexico so special, click on the video on the left and remember to subscribe to the channel to help us grow into a leading channel on Latin America.